Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we are playing Clicker Heroes Routine. Now just so that you guys know, uh, for the past couple of days I have actually lost my voice. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not feeling very well, I've got my voice back but it's kind of stretchy every time I use it but I wanted to do you guys a video at the moment. So currently... <coughs> I've switched from the browser version from Frags World or uh, Fragsworth or whatever the URL was to the Steam version. So I've ended up having to restart from the very beginning. I have ascended once, um, unlike my other uh, video when I transcend. Uh, sorry, I have transcended once, unlike my other video when I transcended twice. Uh, so I'm redoing it again um, because of that, because I'm doing the Steam version. Tomorrow I'm going to, because uh, I have a lot of people ask, how do you download the Steam version? I'm going to show you guys tomorrow, hopefully, uh, how to install it on your Steam. And if you're not happy with it, how to uninstall it. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Uh, we're just going to go through comments now uh, before anything else. Because uh, I've got something cool to show you guys on um, the Steam rooted version. So we have Crush Neath who says, Nice. Next time, first one to get is an always will be Kuma. That is why every zone says bulb because without those two you wouldn't get anywhere. Uh, smiley face. <laughs> um, yeah, I understand that um, that Kuma is a big part of Clicker Heroes and so is Bob. But if I end up going to my Ancients and I've got one Ancient that I can get either Atman or Kuma, I will always go for Atman, especially on this um, rooted version. The main reason being is because I want my primal chance as high as possible, which means I get more uh, hero souls, which means I can do I can get Kuma uh, easier. Um, I mean, it's totally up to you whether you want to get Kuma first or Atman. Uh, personally, for me, I'd rather get Atman first. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's totally up to you what you decide to do. And then we got uh, two two comments from King of Bloons, who says one says nice video, and the other one says no, this is not considered cheating. It's just another game. Hole along. Uh, so it isn't cheating this game. Uh, there's a lot of uh, work that has gone into uh, this game, just makes you progress further. And the reason why it's not cheating as well is because there's no clan as well, clan here, which means, you know, mm, you, there's no um, other players involved, which is why I'm doing this, really. <coughs> And then someone asks, um, Harambe is bae, says, are you still alive? Uh, I am still alive, like I said, I uh, lost my voice and haven't been able to up upload for a couple of days uh, because of that. Now, like I said, I have had to uh, restart mainly because I'm doing the Steam version, but... Uh, there is something that I want to show you guys. So if I go to my shop, as you can see, I can buy some auto clickers. But if I go to skins and I go on or hover over any, as you can see, purchase for 10 rubies, click to purchase. So I am going to do that. So I'm going to quickly go like that. 
and I purchased the Unicorn Auto Clicker. I could go through these and un uh, unlock all of these if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. <coughs> and as you can see, my Unicorn is going at the moment. Um, you can buy them for 10 rubies uh, if you've got the rubies to spare. Uh, Personally, I do. I've only got six uh, auto clickers at the moment. Now, I could, if I wanted to, let's. Um, hmm. Okay, let me go back onto here. So, there, and I'm going to purchase that as well. <coughs> so, I purchased for 10 rubies. Now, if I press the random auto clicker. I should have, okay, as you can see, it's put one on there uh, of my guy, um, okay, now I could have like one on there, I could have a unicorn and then I could have um, like the glove there if I wanted to, uh, but I'm just going to go back to the unicorn like so. So I've got my unicorn going at the moment. Looks so pretty. <laughs> um, so that's a cool thing. You can unlock them and you can do whatever you want with that. Um, I'm focusing on trying to get about 10 auto clickers at the moment. Um, but yeah, like, you, like I said to say, um, there is a, you can use the calculator to sort out your hero souls as well, uh, it's pretty much the same, unfortunately there's no calculator for the ancient souls on this one, because everything's changed, like, uh, rag kind of does, eh, it's kind of weird, like these, like, uh, orp, finally has his, Plus 0% survival of mercenaries per day. And I'm currently on this one. I've only got really one. Now I could hire another one uh, if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. Not just yet anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to focus on trying to get as far as I possibly can. I'll probably transcend off screen as well. Um, and try and get back up to where I was originally. I think on the last uh, video I transcended for 116. So I'm going to try and push a little further than that. Um, so that my transcendent power will go to 3%. I think every break point you do goes up 1% on your transcendent power. Uh, and then you can do like these. I've got uh, 13 on Fan at the moment and 3 on Pony Boy. Uh, I'm going to try and get about Pony Boy to 10 again like I did on the last one and Fandorus uh, up as high as I possibly can. Uh, probably put some in Chore as well. Uh, but I don't really need any in... Oh, no. Uh... Quill, which which is still idle, really. Um, which is still idle, to be honest. And because I haven't really done any of the uh, time lapses, I really don't need to do it yet. I don't need to change to an, from an active to a hybrid build at the moment. Um, so yeah. Currently on Dread Knight, uh, once I'm able to unlock Atlas, I'll put everything on Atlas or my guilds and shove my unicorn on there. Um, that's as soon as I can, really. Uh, but yeah, like I says, if you want your comment being read, then please put your comment in the comment section below and you might be picked. Um, also, if you... Um, also, I'm hoping, like I said, tomorrow to actually do a video on how to install uh, the Clicker Hero rooted version for Steam. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. And then I will also put in the comment section below 
uh, how to play on the Briza version as well. So there will be a link in the description below about how to get to the Briza version. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, then please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel. If your profile is public and you subscribe to my channel and it shows up into my notification, you will get a shout out. If you've subscribed to my channel ages ago and you just want a shout out, then please put in the comment section below and I'll give you a shout out. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. Ta-ra.